those words that came from him were the words, I didn't quite have theological language at that time, but those were the words of God. Now, obviously, now, I'm 68 years old, I have a doctorate in theology, I, you know. No, that was not the case. My father was by no means the voice of God. However, my father had captured in some way and had been given in some way a language that came from the muse and he pursued that language all the time. And when he hit it right, you know, a dozen poems maybe, those poems ought to be in the English language forever. I'm his literary executor. I know when people ask permission to reprint one of his poems, it happens less and less. But there are about a half a dozen poems which keep being asked for. So there is somewhere out there still some memory of these sung words. And it's still there, and I respect that. And I wanted to tell, in this book that I've just written, I wanted to tell about the impact of that on my life as I, as an adult, began to try to find my way and the way for my family toward God as well. So the book is about my relationship with my father with a small f, but it's also about my relationship with my father with a big f and how the two related to one another. So that's what I wrote and that's who my dad is. <laughs>